try to not be nervous in the interview. Like it is a big step and it is a big process. It's nerve wracking. You're in a room with an immigration officer. Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about different things that can go wrong during a marriage based green card interview process. <music> My name is Yalda Hijabi and I focus my practice primarily on employment-based immigration and family-based immigration. So really brief background of foreign nationals that are married to a U.S. citizen or a green card holder can apply for a marriage-based green card. Their U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident spouse petitions for their green card by showing evidence that the relationship is real, that the marriage is real, Real, and that they can support their foreign national spouse financially in the United States to avoid further and foreign national spouse to become a public charge. So you've submitted all the documents, everything's been approved or looked at favorably so far, and now you have to go to the interview. The first thing to avoid is inconsistencies in your answers. So when you are getting interviewed by the immigration officer, it is really, really important for both of you to be prepped for the interview. So working with a seasoned immigration attorney that can get you there is critical and that the answers that you're providing is consistent. So for example, the officer asks, how did you meet? One of you says we met at Central Park. The other one says a friend had a party and we met there. That's an inconsistent answer. Forgetting each other's birthdays. I would really hope that if you've made it this far in the process, you know each other's birthdays. So you don't want inconsistencies with the actual document that were submitted either. So I think one way to avoid that is also to try to not be nervous in the interview. It is a big step and it is a big process. It's nerve wracking. You're in a room with an immigration officer, but taking deep breaths and staying calm and knowing that you have your partner there with you you're both in this together and trying to stay as calm as possible throughout the process is another really really important factor the other thing is is i always recommend for the client to take the documents that were submitted with them nine out of ten times the officer doesn't need to see them they have everything on file but take the documents with you review them ahead of time so that you're really really prepared for the interview the other thing to avoid is arguing with the officer. So let's say you're being challenged on a particular part of your application. Rather than being argumentative, you want to explain to the officer why what you're saying to them is true. And the best way to do that is to stay calm and pointing to the evidence that's actually submitted. So the officer questions whether your marriage is valid or not. You can say, well, officer, we've been living together for the past three years. As you see, we have joint documents that were submitted, including our tax returns, our joint car insurance, joint health insurance, these wouldn't exist if we weren't actually married. Of course, a marriage certificate that was also submitted in our case. So another thing to consider. The other factor, which I think is self-explanatory, but avoid going there alone. You want both parties to be there. It's a little bit different with the naturalization interview that's done for individuals that are getting their citizenship through their U.S. citizen spouse. The partner doesn't necessarily need to be there, although in some cases they do. But for a green card application, both of you need to be present and ready to answer questions. Another thing to keep in mind is be as over-inclusive as possible when filing the application. So the more bona fide documents that you provide, so those are the documents that I referenced to earlier, your joint car insurance, joint lease, joint mortgage, joint health insurance, joint life insurance, taxes, anything that shows that your marriage exists it's true and it's valid up front the less problems you may run into during the officer interview 
And if you think that you have a complicated case for whatever reason, you can always have in your attorney accompany you physically to the immigration office or have them appear telephonically. That's also permitted now. So if you think that you have a complicated case for whatever reason, or you feel nervous, you would feel more secure with your attorney there. That is also something to keep in mind. So these are just a few things to consider when going into your marriage-based interview. And I hope they are helpful. Thank you.